A new tradition starting this year for the Rufus King neighborhood. The Neighborhood Association is rolling out a Halloween trick or treat night or trunk or treat, if you will. Andrea <laughs> Pratt and Amanda Davis join us now to talk about that event. Uh, so we'll get to why it might be trunk or treat yeah. as well. <laughs> First, talk to us about the association back up and running and, and this event that you guys want to have uh, planned to sort of bring people together. Okay, so we just came together. We both are residents of the Rufus King neighborhood and came together over the idea initially over um, our children being able to trick or treat in our own neighborhood mm -hmm. um, and have a nighttime trick or treat experience. Um, so we've been uh, busy for no, eight months or mm -hmm. so <laughs> 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 planning and getting everything together. We're excited. Yeah, and it's going to be coming up Friday. Give us some of the details then. Yeah, how it's so going to work. the event is Friday, uh, 5 to 8 p.m. in the neighborhood. Uh, the residents are uh, registering uh, to be designated as homes to participate. Um, we're really hoping to get uh, as many people participating as possible. We've partnered with uh, Fifth District Police Station. They're going to help to make sure the event is safe. Mm -hmm. And now this uh, trunk or treat aspect. Yeah. So you want people to, who are participating yes. to decorate out front so people know that they're a house that's on the route. Oh, is that yes. It? Yeah. And, yeah. and also trunk or treat is for residents or uh, other people who want to participate but don't live in the area. So you could park around Rufus King oh, High cool. School and then the kids will be able to trick or treat as they walk around the block from your car. <laughs> well, I think it's good because you're screening everybody. Yes. Everybody has to register the, three. Normally uh -huh. we don't tell kids to be taking candy yeah, out of from people's cars. cars right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But but the whole point is bring everybody yeah. together and then kind of build that community. Aspect yeah. right. And then the p police are yeah. also going right. to participate they're, in trunk or treat. Yeah, they're so excited. <laughs> they're donating candy um, as well to uh, to help with the residents and for the children. Yeah, it must mean a lot to both of you too. Oh yeah, I mean, like uh, that's such a great neighborhood. I bet you people are really excited. Have you they gotten are. a great response we from have. the neighborhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we have. I, I did some makeshift signs and put them out, and we started getting calls We're from like, residents. Yes, that yes, we were yeah. super this. excited. And one of the things I learned is, you know, in the past they've always been prepared for trick or treaters, and they haven't gotten many. And mm -hmm. I learned from Andrea that you know a lot of the neighbors have taken their children out to yeah. some of the other communities. But we want so we decided to keep home. everybody, yeah. keep it in the house a little bit. Keep everybody home yeah. and get to do it in your own neighborhood. Well, tell them to get an extra bag of candy because I think we're going to get some more people I out there so. after today. Good. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you for the work you're doing in the neighborhood. You can yeah. find more information on that event. It's up on our website right now, tmj4.com slash links.